Hi, my name is Valerie Liu and I'm an application engineer at MathWorks. Today we're going to learn how to find circles using MATLAB. Let's say you had a picture of coins and you wanted to detect them. You might use the function imFindCircles, but then you need to experiment by hand to find the right parameters. To make this easier, we've made an app for MATLAB called Circle Finder, which allows you to find these circles much faster by tweaking the parameters and seeing your results live. Best of all, when you're satisfied, you can turn it into code that you can copy into a MATLAB script. So let's see how it works. We'll first have a look at the result of detecting circles on this image. We see that all the 10 coins are detected. Now let's have a look at how different parameters affect the result. I'm going to check the process immediately box so that any changes I make are reflected immediately in the results. Object polarity allows you to specify whether you're trying to detect bright circles on a dark background or dark circles on a bright background. The sensitivity of the detector is adjusted through the sensitivity factor, where higher values allow weaker and partially obscured circles to be detected. The trade-off is that there's also a high risk of false detection. The default value is 0.85. If I decrease this value, you can see that one of the circles is no longer detected. As for the methods used, you can choose between the default face coding method or a two-stage circular huff transform. You'll find more information on these methods in the documentation page on imFindCircles. The edge threshold parameter corresponds to the edge gradient threshold for determining edge pixels in the image. A lower threshold allows the detection of a greater number of circular objects with both weak and strong edges. As the threshold increases, it detects fewer circles with weak edges. For example, by increasing this value, fewer and fewer coins are detected. The range of the radii of the circular objects that you'd like to detect is specified here. Let's add the IM Disline tool by clicking on this icon. With this, we can measure the size of the circles that you would like to detect. Finally, we can also customize the visualization options in this panel. Once we are satisfied with the solution, we can export the results to the MATLAB workspace, which will also give you the command line equivalent of what we've changed in the app. If I want to reset all the parameters to the default values, I can click on the def icon. To work on your images, you can import them either as a file or from your MATLAB workspace by clicking on this button. So let's do that. For this image, the challenge is that one of the circles is partially occluded and that the environment is rather cluttered. I had to play with this earlier on, so I've found a set of parameters that works well. First, I'm going to change the polarity to dark as the objects are slightly darker than the background. The range of the radii was measured using IM Disline tool, which gave me a range between 70 and 100. If I change the sensitivity to 0.95 and the edge threshold to 0.02, I've managed to detect the two circles with no false positives. Finally, if you'd like to create a ground truth with which to compare the result of the algorithm, you can manually count the objects by clicking on this icon. This allows you to click on each object that you'd like to count. If you like this app and would like to use it, you can download it from File Exchange on MATLAB Central. Thank you for watching.